Hi everybody, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to everyone who watched the live feed earlier. <laughs> Even though it was a complete disaster. Um, pretty embarrassed by that. <clears throat> it's just one of the perks of doing things live. You're going to make mistakes. You're not going to be necessarily the most eloquent that you've ever been. Um, but I do really appreciate people watching. I appreciate people giving me thumbs up or giving me words of encouragement or even giving constructive criticism. Um, <clears throat> I've watched a few videos of mine now and some of them are really great and some of them could definitely be better and I'm really just starting from scratch. I'm really just kind of figuring out who I want to be and where I want to be at creatively and I'm really thankful for the support um, no matter how big or small. Um, but just a few things I wanted to go over because I feel like I'm so boring to watch live. Had I had I recorded that and edited it and made it this beautiful moment, I'm sure people would have been like, wow, great job. But in the grand scheme of things, the live feed was a really great way to kind of just get a jump start on doing things that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I had surgery on my head last week. So I've been drugged up, I've been sleeping, I have been completely basically out of everything. Like I haven't been posting, I haven't been doing anything. <clears throat> and a live feed is a great way to kind of just get your jump start on doing something you might be afraid to be doing. Um, so I just wanted to give some highlights. In case you missed the live feed earlier, I am wearing the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette on the eyes today. First time dipping into it. I've had it for forever. Um, creatively, I just, I, I kind of wanted to figure out what I wanted to do first. Um, I have literally never put red on my eyes before. This was totally brand new, totally um, different and exciting. This packaging is to die for. If you are, uh, com if you love packaging as much as I do, you'll appreciate how thick this is, how durable it is. You can put this in your travel or carry on. Um, I think that it's extremely bougie. I love this, Jeffree Star. You've done it again. This is an amazing palette if you want to spend the money. Um, what's great about this is you don't need to be great at mixing or blending colors. It does everything for you. Um, I had some great brushes if you guys want to know what those are. I used quite a few Morphe brushes today, so that might help um, for sure. I had a Morphe m 3 I had, for this inner corner highlight I've never done before, I had a Morphe 222. Um, one of the best Morphe brushes in the entire world, uh, Morphe M200. It's brown, totally use this for almost the entire eye look. They're incredible. Bronzing brush was the Morphe E41. Um, highlighting brush was the Morphe M510, which James Charles, Manny MUA, Jaclyn Hill, everyone has at some point used this. Highly recommend. Look at the little highlight. Oh my God, so cute. Okay. Um, just a lot of great things uh, that I used today. And unfortunately, I was not really ready to go live and I kind of just did whatever it is what it is. Um, today in the eyes, we used um, just about everything in this palette. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and dip and do some different colors because that is screaming at me, like I really wanna use this. Today we used um, sugar cane, cake mix, ouch, um, donor, blood sugar, cherry soda, and I cannot remember which one of these two. I think I actually use both. So there's no limitation to how many eyeshadows you can use in a look. You can use them for anything. Um, I wanted to go over that because I got a lot of questions. Um, for my inner corner highlight, I actually used something else because my skin tone, I needed something a little brighter. So we went in with the oh, Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It was the second one. Um, up in the top corner. Gotta love it. Um, so those are the two eyeshadow palettes. Only two eyeshadow palettes that I used today. Uh, this retails for close to 40. This one's a little over 40. It's the more expensive of the two. What's great about Morphe is you can use discount codes online. Um, Jacqueline would probably appreciate using her code because it's her palette. Um, so those are the only two that were used today. The lip color that I used today was my, oh, guys, 
Guys, stop what you're doing. Buy this right now. Um, Jeffree Star Christmas Cookie. I did use a little bit of lip liner because I wanted to feel a little bit more confident with a little bit more of a full lip because the eyes are super dramatic. Um, actually, this is such a normal going out look. I'm gonna go to Publix. I'm gonna go to the store. Just going out, you know? Casual glitter lashes in our corner moment. Um, so Christmas Cookie from Jeffree Star. My all-time favorite Live Good Lipstick he's ever dropped. Bronzer was Physician's Formula in shade Deeper Bronzer. That's a really weird name for that. Um, I used Fix Plus for my lid. You can see it's pretty bright. And for the inner corner. Um, also, <laughs> drugstore highlighter. I love it. Um, this is a Master Chrome uh, Maybelline New York Master Chrome by Face Studio metallic highlighter in molten gold. Guys, literally, let's just talk about this for a minute. This is a drugstore. It is picking up all the light. Um, if you want, where did my highlighting brush go? There it is. This, like, just. You don't even need to put it on. You can see that it's literally insane. It's picking up all the light. It loves it. You can go a little, you can go a lot. You just put it right on there. It's beautiful. There we go. Love that moment. I got this in two colors. I have that in gold and I have it in um, molten rose gold. Oh, this one's so good. These would actually just be beautiful if you use them on the eyes. Highly recommend. Love, love, love. These were under $10. I think these were like seven or eight. Um, don't quote me on that. But it's drugstore and it's at Publix, CVS, Walgreens, you name it. Um, all the brow products were normal and didn't change anything at all. Um, I used the brow definer. I think the reason I did not save the live feed from earlier today was because my brows could not have been worse. Like I, it was probably a 30 minute process and I'm pretty sure I lost a lot of followers just cause it was really boring and I totally understand that, not an issue at all. Um, but I use Brow Wiz and Dip Brow. No, Brow Definer and Dip Brow. Um, I've talked about this before. I feel like Brow Definer is a little bit more durable. When you use the Brow Wiz, it's a really thin little compact piece. It's probably half the size of this. I mean, this is pretty small, so imagine it being half the size. Um, I've bought probably seven or eight of the Brow Wiz from Ulta and Sephora. Every single one of them has broken before I was done with the product, and that really bothers me. If you have a great dupe for that, go ahead and drop it down below because I need it. Hello, hello. Um, so yeah, brow stuff was normal. I'm trying to make sure I covered everything. Oh, foundation. Um, I almost completely forgot. Thank you for reminding me. I'm sure somebody was trying to. Uh, foundation was the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus in Soft Beige. Um, this is adorable. This is $5. Look at this coverage. Look at this coverage. <gasps> Do you feel photo ready? Do you feel photo ready? Because you should. Because this is $5. There's absolutely no excuse. This is affordable in every single price point. Also, I like this packaging better than some high-end stuff because you don't even have like a pump. Look at this. There's a little spatula. That's awesome. So everyone, stop what you're doing. Go buy this. Cruelty-free. Um, and is this vegan? Yeah, vegan and cruelty-free, right? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Concealer was Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna keep going, keep using your guys', um, using you guys for inspiration, ideas, things you wanna see, things you don't wanna see, things you're tired of. I thought you guys would be super proud of me. I did not do winged eyeliner. I actually did not use any eyeliner for this look. I didn't even use eyeshadow um, to like stamp the lash line, like did not use anything. Um, <laughs> that never happens, you guys are like, who is she? Nobody knows. But that's what happened there. Um, I've actually been using quite a few mascaras and testing out what I like. Um, everything is different. You, I could use like five mascaras. I think they're all great. Um, but one of my ride or dies, I know this is 
stupid. It's been around for forever. It's drugstore. You guys probably don't care. But the Colossal. This for me, I've been using this since maybe freshman year of high school. I think this is a fantastic mascara. Not everyone does. I like it. I also like Lash Paradise. Um, I like a lot of things. Um, also, I've been using Tati Westbrook's um, pills. I'm almost completely out. Oh, I have them on reorder. This is the Halo Beauty Hair, Skin, and Nails Booster. Um, I've seen a significant improvement in my skin. I actually really like this a lot, which is the only reason I reordered it. Um, this it basically just promotes thick and luxurious hair growth, considering I just had to shave some off on this surgery. <laughs> grow back instantly um, minimizes fine lines and wrinkles supports collagen and keratin production promotes strong and healthy nails with anti-gray fighting enzymes because you know we're 50 um also this is soy free gluten free sugar free cruelty free and vegan so anybody who's really particular with diet or you have limitations in your diet this is amazing um, I can't say that I've noticed a significant growth in my nails. That's the only thing. Um, my nails are very, very brittle. Um, they're very thin. They've always been thin. That's just, it is what it is. Um, but I highly, I have, since I've been using this, I've definitely noticed a difference in my skin. And ultimately, um, I think everybody wants good skin. So if anybody has thoughts on this, feel free to drop them down below. Um, I'm going to continue using this for now. Uh, I think the only downfall for me was the price point, but the price point, I mean, the fact that this is gluten-free, soy-free, sugar-free, cruelty-free, and vegan, and it's $30. So essentially you're taking two pills a day. Um, it says use um, best results are if you use two pills a day. So that's what I've been doing. I take one in the morning, one at night. Um, and it's actually really good for you. So it's not like I'm harming myself. I'm not. And it's Tati Westbrook. Queen Tati. How can you not love Tati Westbrook? You just, she put a video out there in case anyone has questions about the product. Um, she's the person you should ask. She's the one who created it. Um, also, I've been using Dr. Robux uh, Face Anti-Aging Moisturizer for quite some time now. I actually really like this product. Um, before I use the moisturizer, not every day, but probably two to three times a week, I use the Boost and Titan Serum. Um, it's like a little vitamin E moment. It is precious. It is great. Don't put it on your eyes. I made that mistake more than once. Um, but yeah, so that's it for today. But I just wanted to let you know, in case anyone was like, I need to know what you use right now because I'm going to go buy it. Um, I wanted to provide that for you and that way you could go out and go shopping. Just realized I never put my ring back on after I showered. So yeah, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. <laughs> but um, bless and be blessed. I hope that this was beneficial to you. Uh, I can continue to talk about products that um, I use in case that's something that really interests you. And I will see you guys around. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Love you all so much.